Hey, good morning. So it's uh, May 1st. It's around 9 o'clock. Uh, I drove about 45 minutes to an hour from town, um, headed east. Right now I'm walking south on an old logging road that I guess is really a quad trail now. I'm gonna do a couple K on this and then I'm gonna cut towards the river. Uh, get down to the river and just explore a bit. Uh, lots of neat geology here and uh, ideally maybe run into some fossils, get some pictures of those. I don't know, seemed like a good way to spend the morning. Weather's beautiful. It's like plus 10 already. You can hear the frogs croaking in the background. It seems like it's going to be an awesome day. Let's see what we find. Some shots of the trail here. It's kind of starting to feel like summer, but we've still got, well, I don't know, Three weeks, four weeks till leaves start coming out. But it's a little bit dry, a little bit brown, I guess. But summer's on its way. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Just a, a great day to be out. That's That's really all I can say. Well, it's been about 20 minutes down the trail. Should be getting close to where I'm going to cut into the bush. Um, so we got about 300 meter bushwhack to the river. It's really nothing at all. And uh, get down there and see some sights. Super quiet, no wind. Feels like it's gonna be a warm day. A few bear tracks on the trail, but I haven't found one that's really good and really obvious, but I'll look for that. So this looks like the end of the line as far as the trail goes. I mean, the trail keeps going south, but I'm gonna cut across here and uh, get down to the river. Okay, let's try this again. All I've done here is uh, cut east towards the river. I know the river's that way. 
I've been here before, not necessarily on this route, but uh, I walk generally towards the sun. I, I, well, I will pop out of the river. And if I don't drift too much, I should uh, pop out right at the oxbow. Just the other part I should add is that I do have a compass. I have my phone with a satellite map on it. Should I need that? And uh, I've got an inReach if something goes bad. Or if I uh, just want to let the family know where I am. Uh, I don't know. I think it's good to carry those personally. It's not really for me. It's for them. And it's for the people that might have to come find me. So I think if I get to do this, the very least I can do is make it easy for someone to come and find me if it doesn't uh, turn out well. There's some thick shit in here. Oh, here we go. Game trail. Awesome. Life is good. Nice path, kind of. Looks like we got an opening up ahead. The forest is pretty dry right now, actually. We could uh, use a little bit of rain. Otherwise, it's probably going to be a very, very interesting summer. Ouch. Alright. Here we go. Starting to open up a little bit. Well, apparently my free willy form of navigation led me astray. I am, uh... Probably about 100 meters or so north of where I want it to go down. Actually, I'm going to go down right here. I don't know what this would be. It's like a 100 foot drop down into the valley. What is that? 30 meters ish. We'll just stay on this game trail. And get down into the river. Here we go. We're here. Almost. Hey, I'm down at the river now, or kind of. So this is an old river, channel of the river, an oxbow that has since dried up and the river's cut a new channel. The uh, cool thing here is there are all kinds of rocks. So I don't know if you collect rocks. I do. I usually like to take a rock from all my trips and sometimes too. Um, this place is a rock paradise. There are rocks everywhere and you really, at least I do, have to control myself and not grab everything that catches my attention because there is a lot. The river's over this way. Like I said before, it's May 1st in Saskatchewan. Well, I guess everywhere. <laughs> we still have snow. This will probably hang around for a little bit yet, but uh, otherwise it's mostly gone. We're at the river.
there's some really cool geology here. Um, there's this shale layer somewhere. Uh, and it just splits apart like this in little flakes. Some, in some places it looks almost like the pages of a book. It's really cool. You know, things like that. And like I said, if you like rocks, there are lots of rocks. couple fossils here. These are probably, well, I don't know for sure, but I would guess they're recent. Um, you can see the shells in there. Those are pretty common down here, um, but still cool to find. the river um, so I'm probably like two kilometers from the truck I'm just gonna work my way with the flow and uh, skirt along the edge of the river and see what I see and I don't know stop have some lunch somewhere and otherwise just kind of enjoy the scenery and take it all in I guess like I said before I'm pretty we're lucky to be able to do this, you know, from an hour away from my house. Uh, so, what can I say? Lucky. All right. Lots of deer tracks here. I'm skirting along the edge of the river. The one downside of following a river is sometimes you can't follow the river. So I'm just going to skirt along the bank. Let's put a spot where I can get back out to it. And not be in the water. Ooh. Lots of ferns here. back here in a month and pick fiddleheads and take long to get more than enough for supper so, so if you're still with me at this point um, there's probably one thing you're wondering is where I am I haven't said the name of the river um, I might at the end it's kind of a cool place. I've got some friends that come down here and do the same thing I'm doing. You know, I guess we are we saving it for ourselves, maybe. There's lots of uh, cool fossils if you look for them. I guess it might be a shame for those to, to disappear, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe at the end I will, or somewhere along the way. It's a neat spot in here. There's, I don't know, spruce and birch. That's a Manitoba maple. Lots of will Whoa. willows and alders. It's really neat country. And then there's that shale layer right here. Got into some spruce here. It's actually quite a bit cooler. It's 
getting to be a warm, warm day. Okay, back out at the river again. Another kind of dry channel. That's got to be some kind of fossil there. Well, there was that big cut bank in the river and I couldn't keep going there, so back in the bush. But there's no leaves. It's pretty open, can't really complain. So, follow along through here till I can cut back to the river. And then, uh, yeah, just follow it after that. Seems we have a very uh, ambitious beaver. So that black poplar is probably, I don't know, 20, 24 inches in diameter. He's had a good go at it though. We're pretty close, pretty close. Maybe by the end of the day. Nice to be in the shade. 
She is a hot one. Hot for me, I guess. But it's gonna get hotter. As you can see, I'm up off the river again. It's just the banks just got too much closed in. So I'll skirt along up the top here and hop back out at some point. This is a bit interesting. I was uh, cutting through the bush and hit this pot trail. So, I don't know. I guess that goes to show you that no matter where you go, someone's probably been there before. Maybe not as recent as this, but lots of people exploring. Anyway, I'm going to see where this goes back to the river. Might be an easier way to get back here next time. And we'll see, maybe I'll just follow it out. See if I catch up to the main trail. And uh, walk back north a ways and then cut back down to the river. Well, I followed the trail a ways and it comes back to the river. And it looks like it's somebody's deer camp, moose camp. Maybe bears, I don't know. A little bit of junk laying around. There is a 4x4 four four post. That's probably worth its weight in gold right now. But it looks like these guys found themselves a nice spot. The fire ring up here. Right on the edge of the river. Well, let's follow this out and see where it goes. I'm sure it comes back to the main trail. And uh, we'll just come back to the river once we get down closer to where the truck is. Have some lunch, have some water, and then uh, I guess head back home and do some work around the yard. It's that time of year. Following the trail out, doesn't look like it's been used this spring anyway, probably last fall, but it's a decent trail. Obviously someone's keeping it open. And this I haven't set up to this point, but um, this is the arm at river we're at. So the Armit starts in Manitoba and comes into Saskatchewan. Yeah, lovely trail, lovely trail. Makes for some easy walking. The one thing about trails, obviously they're easier to move on, but if you kind of keep track of stuff um, on a trail, even with a full pack, you can do about four kilometers in an hour. Um, what's that, getting close to two and a half miles in an hour. So you can uh, move pretty good. Now, if this was bushwhacking, you drop right away. You're down into the two kilometers an hour, or maybe a kilometer an hour. And if it's really disgusting, less than that. I've been there before, I don't recommend it. It's one of those things that, what do they call it, type two fun? It fucking sucks when you're doing it. it gives you a good story later and it's fun to talk about. But, uh, even with that being said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. Not on my uh, list. So I'll take advantage of this and we'll see where it goes. It's heading the right direction right now. One thing I haven't mentioned is the amount of moose crap out here. I guess this is all winter, but still, it seems like a lot. I guess that's a good sign. It's kind of hard to get back in here 
definitely not somewhere you'd want to shoot a moose. Well, maybe right here because we've got a quad trail, but anywhere else, <coughs> I think you're just making work for yourself. Well, this has been a pretty good day. Didn't, uh, so didn't have any huge plans. I just wanted to get out, do a little bit of walking, give my boots a try. Bought some new scarpas. Uh, I can't say enough about these boots so far. They are freaking awesome. They're almost like broken in from day one, uh, which, not like my uh, work boots that I wore the other day and got two blisters on my heels. But these boots are awesome. Highly recommend it. They cost a few bucks, but if you're gonna be doing lots of walking like this, or hiking or anything like that, you can't go wrong. Well, looky there. We're back to the trail we came in on this coming in I just didn't know where it went now I do and uh, we'll head north back to the truck I think I'm still gonna walk down to the river again make lunch contemplate what's left of the day what I gotta do around the house and uh, I don't know I guess just enjoy the moment I really like I said wanted to Get some miles on my boots, get some miles on my body. Um, some people lost weight during COVID. Um, I'm not part of that group. So I got a few pounds to sweat off. But if I can do that doing this, hey, life is pretty good. No complaints from me. I'm, I guess, out of the bush, back on the main road that comes in here. This is, uh, it's called the Blueberry Road. And what I'm doing now is just following it down. It goes right, basically right to the river. I'm gonna go down there, have a drink, and just sit, I guess, for a bit. And then, uh, just pack up and head out. And that'll be it. Back down at the river. Nice big cut bank here. Last year they stocked this river again with uh, rainbows and brook trout, I think. They used to stock it back in the 90s with uh, cutthroat and brook trout. Brook trout kind of hung around. There's a few in here, but hopefully stocking will bring it back. It's super nice water. Lots of places to fish like this big cut bank here. It'll be an awesome spot. That's next week when the season opens. Well, that's about it for the day, I guess. Finish up my water and I think head back. Try and get a couple things done before evening. It's the one thing I've never, I guess I only have a few videos, but where I came up with the name. Um, so I grew up in Prince Albert, which is called the gateway to the north 
and now I live in Hudson Bay, which used to be called Hudson Bay Junction because the from here the train goes north through to the Paw and then up to Churchill, Manitoba and Hudson Bay. So I kind of put those two together and came up with Junction North. I guess it works. We'll uh, see if anyone actually <laughs> visits it. Um, I think right now there's been more people have walked on the moon than have seen my YouTube channel, but that's all right. I'm not I'm not necessarily doing it for YouTube views, more uh, for the fun of it and share it with my daughters and my family. And uh, yeah, just show them some of the places I get to see and I guess anyone that's watching. So that's it for today. Thanks for uh, tuning in if you stayed this far. I appreciate it and uh, hope you saw something cool and I'll try to put up some more videos and get to more places like this. All right, take care. One last look at the river. There are some awesome fishing spots though. I gotta come back next week or the week after sometime. I'll give this a fish. Look at that run there. Right after that cut bank. Oof. End of those rapids. Another cut bank of the pool. Yep. Gotta come back.